Hello, welcome yet again to this series of tutorials looking at pseudocode. In this piece of pseudocode, I'm going to create another while loop, but this time it's going to check a value. So let's have a little look at this. Well, okay, so I'm going to start down here. So I'm going to check a value. Well, I need a variable value to start with. I'm going to use the trusting num. So we've got num zero. Now, what I want my pseudocode to look at is testing a number, whether a number is less than 100. So, while num is less than 100, what I want to do, well, I want to get a value in to test it against. So, I'm going to have a variable, I'm going to call it number, equals now, I'm going to specify a particular type of number. So I'm going to specify that it's actually an integer. So number equals int. Now remember this is OCR type pseudocode. So we're, we're using some structures that, that are very similar to Python but not quite. Okay so there we go. Now whole number uh, dot dot dot. Okay so while num is less than 100 input an integer. Okay so where do we go from that? Well what we want to do with that, we want to add the value of our input to num. So num equals num plus number. Yep. So for example, if the user entered in 50, then the first time around it'd be 0 plus 50, which would be 50. Then it would loop back a couple of checks to see it's still less than 100. And then it would input another number. Okay, now, so we're going to give our potential developer a little bit more instruction here. So we're going to say, well, print, uh, have a little message, value of, oh, if I could spell value, that'd be useful, wouldn't it? There you go, value of num equals num. Yeah, so we just want to say, okay, you know, that's what the value is as it loops around. Um, now, because it's less than 100, or it might be less than 100, so print value of, there I'll go again, misspelling value, value of num is less than 100. Now, I'm going to use a Boolean in here. I'm going to do a Boolean check. So I'm going to use bool. Okay, num less than, oh, there we go, 100. Now let's have a little look at that. So I'm saying there, I'll print value of num is less than 100, and then it's going to tell me whether it's true or false. If it's less than 100, then it will be true. If it's greater than 100, then it'll be false. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to top that out, or bottom it out, I'm not quite sure how you would put that really. And wow. Yep, so it will loop around and it will continually tell me in this piece of pseudocode whether num is less than or greater than 100. And I'm using a boolean to do that. So I'm going to put a little comment in at the top. There we are. So while we'll loop to check the value of an existing, 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 get it right, <laughs> variable. There we go. Thank you very much for listening and for